All right. And so we got Blorp versus Esam. We're actually just talking about Esam, funny enough. Mm -hmm. Of course, Blorp. You guys know Esam, but Blorp, you know, sol solo Palu now. I believe he did play like Snake slash Link um, from Indiana. And solo I, Palu I, probably more I heard, Yeah, I heard he was one of Indy's <laughs> best. <laughs> I love, I love Esam, man. So He's much so personality. Funny. Only, every time I see Esam, I just think I'm godlike. I'm nice. I'm, I'm nice. <laughs> uh, and he's shown us he's nice, dragging him to the blast zone with three back airs, almost killing immediately at the beginning of the match. Yeah, of course. So, you know, strong showing at Genesis, placing seventh, mm -hmm. and I believe he did get like 65th at Frostbite though, which. Not very characteristic of all There were a lot too. of upsets in that tournament. Yeah, it definitely was. Um, Ally got upset. We saw that. There was just a lot of just wacky stuff going on. We saw the crew battle. Everybody saw that crew battle with what happened to Sam Sora. Rip you, boy. That hurt. Uh, anyway, getting back to this match. Uh, yeah, Esam has been in complete control. Yep, reading the jump, pressuring him with the jab, not giving him any space, any room to get anything started. And Palutena is just such a good momentum-based character. Oh, no She's tech, dead right and now, though. And Esam loves it when you don't tech, because you know he's always going to go for that job lock. Oh, yeah. Blorp is the mystery man. You don't even see his face. Good DI by Esam. Uh, I assume that Palutena gets like a lot of combos out of that throw, but he just held out and was like, nah, not today. Not going to let you get that follow-up. Her back throw did get a big improvement, though. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Killing now, actually. Air loops? Oh, here it is. And these are the Nairloops that we now, actually saw at Genesis. Now, can drag him to the... Okay, okay. Didn't get the whole thing. Into the up smash. Yes, you can drag him to the up smash, or you can actually pull them off stage and down air them. Because that happened to me, and I was very, very <laughs> upset. I cried that night. It might be happening right now. Okay, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Either way, a lot of pressure coming from Esam. Blorp not really able to get an answer. Um, one thing that a lot of Palutena's talk about is that She's so good in so many situations like the mid-range and even long range, but if you get up in her face, her get-off-me options from up close are not that stellar, and Esam is taking complete advantage of that right now. Mm -hmm. She does still have back air. You know, she still has her tools to, like, kind of keep you out, but Pikachu's pressure is just so relentless and so safe. Back throw? Nah, not quite. Definitely going to set up for some uh, explosive flame or maybe a ledge punish. Oh, I like the parry into the dash attack. People trying to catch the high recovery with the Nair. Of course, Pikachu does still extend uh, his hurt box every time he does use his recovery to get back into the stage. He did take a stock. Also, one thing I like, since Lorp is from Indiana, Indiana, it is your first time here. You know CFL is known for like their loud, oh, crazy yeah. chants. Indiana has on. weird stuff. I've been catching on to the Indiana sea, man. <laughs> like we just heard Floss's teeth. I don't know what Floss's teeth I means. I heard pack his lunch yesterday. Pack, pack his lunch. <laughs> I've heard lick his like, socks, oh, okay. all kinds of stuff. It, it gets wild out here. Oh, go for the down Whoa. air? I knew he wanted to go for the down air, but that directional air. Oh, oh he's beautiful still there back. Sam. He's still alive. This is still the e same Sam, ledge let guard. let this man breathe. He refuses. She's a goddess. I love that. Going for the nair, all that pressure on his shield, and as soon as it didn't lead to anything, he just leaves. I'm so surprised that he survived that entire situation off stage there. Yeah, that's wild. Nice. Samo, Good place on that back air. Yep, of course, Paul is back air and Ash Tech. Invincible thinks of the shield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's keeping himself he's keeping himself alive, but just Esam is just getting so much burst damage versus these straight hits. And that's where this gap has come from. If Paul would use your shield for a fair, oh, that'd God, actually no. be insane. No, 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 no. So he tries to go for the down tilt by the ledge. Actually could clip people right below the ledge too. Yeah. Of Esam. Good actually on. making up his own recovery too to make sure that he doesn't get hit by it. That was really good on Blorp too to not take the bait on that thunder. Uh, I know Prod is an Indiana Pikachu slash Pichu, so I'm sure he's been dealing with that for a while now. So he didn't take the easy bait. Huh, he actually punished the Thunder Jolt that got counter with a grab. That's crazy. I guess it just has a little hit sun, period. Oh, oh great just DI. about. Yeah, really good DI for me, Sam. Oh, he tried to quick attack. He tried to back air him again, but quick attack just is a little bit too fast. There you go. Stocks are even. Stocks, got some let's yep. go blurps out in the chat or in the crowd. This is rough. Crowd's getting pretty excited right now. Ends up doing the rising Nair. Ooh, oh, nice goes combo from Blorp. Instead, I like that. He wasn't trying to overcommit with the Nair, too, because he recognized it wasn't working earlier. I like that the, the, the chants are getting better. You're hearing you're completely fine. And every time somebody says something really nice like that, they do something crazy. <gasps> Tex, oh, uh, it's any amount. No, he's, he's still, still alive. alive. He has to go for a high oh. recovery. Oh, wait. That looked a little weird because it looked like he literally slid off the side of the stage. I think he just didn't want it. I think Paul Tano's just like, I've had enough. I've had enough of these <laughs> back airs. That's another thing Get that Esam all day. went, like, just like similar to what we saw with Pichu, when you do back air out of shield, either Pichu or Pikachu, it covers so much space, but it also sends you so far. So, yeah, so far out. Like, even if it doesn't just outright kill you. And Paul Tano's recovery is pretty good, but she could not make it back. I think if she had gone high, she maybe could have drifted there. That's what there. I thought was going to happen, but I feel like Esam was also predicting that oh, for yeah. the third time, he may actually just recover up high, then, you know, right below the ledge. 
And I feel like he just placed himself in a perfect place to actually perfect, punish yeah. him, too. He could have he punished him if he went low. He's saying, I wonder what he's listening to. No, it's probably the, the music. Song. I think he's literally song. listening to the menu song. Also, I just realized, shout out to whoever Switch this is, because they did Water Light and they changed the menu song. I didn't catch that till just now, but bless up. Because I am so sick of this menu yeah, song. Yeah, the, the songs so far at this tournament have been amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. I've been seeing song counterpicks, too. I'm about it. Oh, yeah, I'm always about that. I play with music, but sometimes I'll just be like, man, forget it. I want to hear Snake Eater, you know? I want to hear, you know, Gangplay oh, Galleon. Oh, he actually tried to go for the side beat. Nice. I like the delay okay, on the recovery. Bad. Blurb is doing a really good job at avoiding of getting hit by Esam and losing his stock relatively early. Because you can see what Esam is going for every time he sends Blorp off stage, especially at these early percents, like 60. I like the idea of the counter pick too. Uh, the ceiling is like a little bit lower here, just because like the platforms just reach really high here. And um, Palutena's up air is terrifyingly strong too. Like you can die from that as early yeah, as like 60 something extra percent. Pressure, especially below the ledge. Mm -hmm. And Pikachu has all these combos that are like on the horizontal plane, but he doesn't really ladder combo you too hard. He does everything else. Um, okay. Good patience. Oh, you saw he tried to go for the up smash. Contesting it with a grab. We're going to see a back throw here. I don't want him to stay a lot back throw, but it does give him these edge guard situations, so it's still it good does, on board. It does, I also feel like Esam's just not going to get hit by explosive flame. He's yeah. really good at avoiding it, and Pikachu Plus, in general, too, wouldn't really get hit by it. Yeah, easily. such a mobile character. You have so many options to recover. But Blorp, you know what? Blorp has gotten all this damage from just controlling him at the ledge, throwing him off, and then just sending him back wherever he goes. Oh, the SD! What? He what? tried to wave land on the stage, but he went a little bit low. Oh, That's unfortunate. No. That's a shout out to Melee right there. Why seeing do we that keep happen. seeing all these SD? Is it just because, like, you know, it's earlier? Like, <laughs> yeah, I think it might be. People haven't woken up, and uh, from what I've seen on Twitter, everybody was turning up last night. Uh, <laughs> so. I heard. There's definitely times where, like, I'll, I'll like, I'll oh, see people party. Speaking of SD. He's in dinner too, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, everybody needs a little bit more coffee. But this venue has a Starbucks attached to it, so shout out to this venue and Starbucks. Are we getting some A's oh, we in the, got in the crowd? We okay. Got the this is the first time I ever hear people cheering for Polynir. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's go. Not Ooh. a fan of that move. Yep, using his recovery to ledge cancel right there into the back air. This is actually pretty even. This is looking way better than the game one. He's doing a really good job. He's zoning him out. He's using his down tilt. And he's using his bear to just kind of like snuff Pikachu's options out, and it's really paying off. They're placing him at forward air, too. He's just got to stay. I think he's got to stay away from this ledge. Because, like, a lot of the stocks he's lost have been, like, either A, the SD, or B, just East Ham going for these crazy back airs and dares and everything else. And he's just taking so much free damage from being mm -hmm. near that ledge. Uh, okay. You see the shield? Yeah, that was All the right. visibility from the shield. Yeah. To the dare? tech in place from the dare Ooh. and avoiding that situation, rolling back, not going to get hit by the smash attack. Yeah, that was a 50 50. He did guess right, though. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? That forward air is so powerful. He, yeah, he was really close to the blast one, but mm -hmm. I kind of feel like he would have survived that if he expected it and kind of DI'd right, because I feel like he was DIing away in that moment just to DI away from Esam. Yeah, yeah. I think he could have lived that too. But also, it's probably fresh. It's a strong move. And it's, you know, having it fresh like that, you might really just take a stock of 90 outright anyway. So what's he going to do? Oh my god, is he dead? Okay, he makes it. He actually may be dead. He He's actually maybe did. This is a bad spot. Yep, he ends up going for the ledge, so he manages to grab the ledge. You see him missing the down air. You see, he's going all the way down low to hit him with his own nair. He knew that Blorp wanted to get the nair off stage there. Sorry. There's a lot of yeet in the crowd, and I oh, felt I, it. I, I want to be a no, part of it. Don't, you know? don't even apologize. <laughs> I'm so about that. That's the real yeet. He's gone. Throw? Yeah. Yep. He just traded his Pokemon out. He doesn't want it. He doesn't have the right IVs. He's over it. He needs something new. Oh, he could have got a Nair combo, but I think the slant of the stage threw him off a little bit. He landed sooner than he expected. Back air sent out really, really, really far. Too. Catching the recovery. Going for the high recovery. Blorp recognizing that Esam really wanted that back air again that we saw from last game. Oh. Okay. I don't know if the slant actually helped him out there. I don't know if it, yeah, that situation. it might have. All right. Esam, literally anything he does can kill right now. But Palutena is so wild. I wouldn't expect a zero death from her either. Ah, that was really, really good. He put on so much shield pressure with that aerial, dripped it back, and really, whatever option he chose, just to drop shield, just try to shield grab, or even jump out of shield, the S-Mash was ready to cover. Great play by Esam. Yeah, I covered a lot of space, too, on the platform. Great spacing by Esam, too. Yeah, but yeah. But let's talk about the fact that Blorp is playing really well. He is. He's, he's definitely playing really well. Especially, uh, this is uh, still in top 48 winners, and um, Esam is, you know, he's Esam. He's somebody that's been on a PGR for like 10 years, and Blorp uh, may or may not be a newer kid to the scene, but he is keeping up with the big boys right now really well.
You know what I like about Isam as well is the fact that when he plays against like new players like he doesn't like either play before, doesn't recognize, he actually gives them tips. Oh yeah. He, That's really nice. Yeah, he actually like or he explains a situation as to what just happened right there. And he tries to have them understand like he actually it was him and MVD in South Florida that had a plethora of like players that they were teaching and helping them like actually get better at the game. Actually, oh. you know, one of MVD students is uh Mutis. Really? Yeah, he oh. when Mutis was learning the game, MVD was, was actually this like recent? I mean not anymore because MVD and Isam left to Oklahoma oh, yeah, like right. like Oklahoma. I think like a year ago or so. But like when the game when Smash Board came out and Mutis was getting into the scene, he was one of the players that MVD was teaching. Uh, D2DA, the Meta Knight player, was another one as well. Mm. Uh, uh, so many, so many players. So that's another thing that I like about uh, these other players is that they always try to make sure that they help out the other players that they see potential into. Here's my thing I like about Esam. I like that his glasses match his jersey. I respect anybody that like commits their fashion. <laughs> He had to buy those glasses specifically for that jersey. I respect that. Anyway, going to Kalos uh, for game three. Actually, still pretty even. Oh, he got a, was that a trip from the down tilt? Yeah, just a bunch it, of it definitely time? looked like he set up for a trip there. Mm. So That's he's unfortunate. trying to catch Paul who's landing, gets the grab, and go for a thunder. Oh, oh my God. Dwarf is not having it, jumping out of that situation. Yeah, he's like, no, not today. Been through that before, no thanks. Yeah, right? Yeah, it was really even, and the East Ham just put on a bunch of damage out of nowhere. It's, got, it's oh. probably going to be hard for Paul Tana to, like, secure the lead, too, because she's landing with bears and nares, but her combo tools are going to be hard to hit on a character like Pichu that's just so small. Yeah, you, see, place, yeah, yep. you see the jab, the jab lock right there, the attempt of the jab lock, he's always trying to go for adjusting keys. Yeah, and I just realized that even if the jab lock fails, you still get free jabs. So it's kind of good. It's kind of the, it's an option like for Esam to just go for it anyway. Catches the landing with the up smash. Yeah. I feel like that's something that Esam recognized after he got the grab um, on Blorp when Blorp was landing, was that Blorp likes to DI into him whenever he's trying to get back up to the stage. Yeah, good presence of mind right there. Nice, I love that. He uh, looked like he was gonna go for a grab and just like baited out the air dodge and then just had an F tilt ready. He's still keeping up with this. Isam is really trying to get some Twitter combos going right now. He got like three backers at the very beginning of this game. Where, yeah. And Blorp actually still survived because he didn't get gimped and he managed to get back into the stage and uh, reverse the damage output there. Gets the back air. Good stuff by Blorp. Two Thunder Jolts are coming his way. He just countered both of them. Just played patient, knowing that Isam's going to go in right after the Thunder Jolts are gone and got a back air for his, uh, for his aggression. So this is, again, still really even. Oh, the Thunder Ooh, that's actually gonna be a helping combo. out Isam. Oh, counter nice counter by Blorb. Putting Esam on notice right there. Combo coming back from Esam. Turn on a fire back. Okay, throwing out the nares. Pressure up with explosive flame. Even though it won't connect, it does force Pikachu to, Pikachu to move and make an option he might not want to choose. Uh, he can't go low to the ledge like that when uh, explosive flame is just hanging out. This is so even. It, this it is actually really is, because Blorb is playing so well just around Pikachu. Oh, no, he he went right. Oh, did no. I just, did I just jinx him? Like, you did. Did, I, did he hear Saw your me? fault. Did he just hear, like... It's all your fault. And, you know, a little by little, like, that's also, like, nerves cutting, coming into play because Glorp has been playing really well, but that esteem, man, that could have cost so much. Isim loves having that momentum at his side. Right, plus getting a potential PGR win. Anybody would be a little bit nervous. I would be nervous. It's hard. It's really hard. Also, in that situation, even if he had an SD, since he re-grabbed the ledge, Pikachu Dare would have just been free anyway. Hey, boy, but know? if he reacted faster, maybe he could have rolled at the same True. time, too. He went high. I like how Blorp isn't trying to overcommit with the low nares as we saw earlier, just because he recognized how Isam was able to take out his stock for even trying to attempt to go for the nair off stage. We get air dodge. Oh, again. I think Not he took like his this. jump and he, bu yeah, he probably buffered air dodge. Not like this. That's a sad I, way to go out. That game was so good at the beginning, too. And when it ends in a way where the opponent SDs even once, like he SD twice there, even yeah. though he didn't have a jump, like. When it ends like that, it's so disappointing because that looked like a really good set. It was. It, like it was a really good set. Lorp I think it still played really well. was definitely catching on to Esam, and you could see it was even at the very beginning of that last game. Like, especially, like, outright just countering that F-Smash. You got to know when that's coming, because that's a pretty fast move. Yeah. Also, um, Kalos might be Pikachu's best stage. There's a Pikachu I practiced with, and, like, as you saw, he'd throw the Thunder Jotes onto the wall, and it would just crawl up and, like, give him free ledge pressure. He can stall out with, like, side B and just hang out for yeah, extra time. Yeah, the flat time. walls, I feel like, really help out Pikachu. Thunder's too, really good. You can hang pressure. out on the top platform. You can, like, dare to react until they get back to the ledge. There's a lot of really good stuff Pikachu has on that stage, and Esam was absolutely exploiting it all throughout the match. Yeah, he was doing a really good job on it, but at the same time, like, Blorp was doing a good job at recognizing when the Jolts were coming for him, and he was able to reflect it. Oh, yeah, he was chill about it. He was, it was like, it's fine, it was, whatever. It, usually, 
Ain't nobody worried. That additional pressure could actually get to you, like mentally. Like mm -hmm. then you start kind of flubbing not just your inputs, but I mean, we saw him SD unfortunately, but also lose stage control. And it seemed like Blorp was doing a really good job at maintaining stage control and yeah. adding in pressure versus Esam, who could be a little overwhelming at times. He was keeping his composure too. Like even when he was like way down, he'd like because he lost that first thought. And Esam was only like I think maybe like 80 something. He just he brought it all the way back. I think he only took like 20 on the next stock before he took that uh took that.